Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. And today we're gonna do a little look that I actually created today and another one of my stories. So many of you wanted to see it and I was just trying a bunch of products from Ciate and did like a really little like sparkly eye look and like my favorite lips. So we're gonna put it all together today. The look was like, and I definitely recommend you guys follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I post so much on there. Like little mini tip videos, like my favourite product videos. So yeah, definitely follow me on there. I'll leave my links below. Today's post notification shout out is going to go to Jory Yugon. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Please correct me if I didn't in the comments below. But yeah, thank you so much for subscribing and hitting the bell button. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. I'll try and bring you guys a little closer. First thing I do is get my Got To Be brow gel. I was obsessed with the Refi Beauty one, as you guys know, but I finished that one. Well, I've got like, bits of it but this got to be one just does not let you down it doesn't budge doesn't leave any like white marks or anything really it just keeps your brows in place but the only thing is is like i prefer the refi beauty one because it dries way quicker and it keeps the brow hairs in place like way quicker but with this one you have to like give it some time whilst it's drying your brow hairs can just like move out of place so i have to like constantly touch up as it's drying so yeah that's the only thing i would say about this got to be brow gel just gonna let that dry just gonna put a little bit of concealer on my lids this is the benefit boing cakeless concealer in the shade seven blender i use the wild chamomile palette by huda beauty for my eyes i literally just went in with one shade which is this one right here so i was talking with my friends about something that has been really bugging me not recently but you know something that happened a while back but like one thing i don't like right was when we go out for dinner with large groups of people but like you know when it comes to paying the bill right like i'm the kind of person like if everyone's gotten like the same thing almost the same thing like it would be common sense to have everyone split the bill once that's all nicely blended out i'm going to use the essence liquid ink eyeliner it looks like this i got it from wilco and i'm just gonna do like your classic wing i can't talk during this section i'm i do my eyeliner more like straight before i used to go like this but now i just do them more straight out i don't know what it is my hand is just not steady today so yeah like unless like someone's like proper ordered a bunch of alcohol or got something that is way out of the blue then obviously then then obviously like count everyone's portion but i just find it so cumbersome to like just sit there and count everyone's bit on the receipt like it's just so long now obviously if someone bought a bunch of alcohol and had to split that obviously i wouldn't be happy but if you know everyone's gotten the same thing then i don't see what's wrong with just splitting it then next i go in with my Stila glitter and glow liquid shadow in kitten karma and I literally just put this all over, like without touching the liquid liner. Obviously you can do this bef before your liquid liner, but sometimes liquid liner is harder when you do it on glitter. I think the lighting's a bit better there. Oh my God, I forgot to put the light on behind me, but oh well. And then recently I watched a film called Alice. I watched it with hubby and it was so creepy i find to be honest i find like any films about on slavery very disturbing like it's just not easy to watch but this was just so creepy like oh my god yeah so if you like uh those like creepy intense films then yeah alice was a good one and then i also watched deep deep water oh my god i was so confused with throughout the whole film but it's really scary and like uh, it's like a, a thriller really so like a psychological thriller i'm then going to pop some lashes on these are from amazon i'll try and link them in the info box they're from jimmy look at the difference 
problem with these amazon lashes is that you really have to like trim them to your eye they're so big and long shall we prime our skin i'm gonna go in with my nimya where it all starts cream and it really does help to keep your makeup in place so for foundation i was trying out the ciate extraordinary foundation this is a radiant buildable coverage foundation this gave me full coverage i have the shade 13 no 130y maple and yeah it's a really nice shade for me and it, you only need the littlest amount i put so much of this it's proper full coverage this is what it looks like yeah it just didn't disappoint and that's what the color looks like i mean look at that like literally my skin color i had to get a new beauty blender especially like the black one which is my favorite one because like oh, i feel like i've had my other ones for so long i do wash them regularly and they do last a long time but i just feel like you do need to make sure you change them especially like if you want to prevent getting like blemishes and stuff look how nicely that's blending and they actually i got this in pr and they chose my shade so well and it just blends really well then under my eyes i wore the same um, benefit concealer this is what it looks like it was so cool because i was recently i was recently able to work with them on a, on instagram and it's just like so crazy i do love their products you guys know that and they have been stepping up with their shade range so yeah i'm just all for it and obviously like i wouldn't be getting these opportunities if you if you guys weren't always watching my videos and like engaging and showing love so like i always try to just be so grateful for that and just remember I don't know like uh, 10 years ago when i first started out i would have dreamt to be on these type of collabs so it's just so crazy how like things come full circuit circle you know even like I don't, I don't think i've said this story online like i recently worked with avon and that like almost made me tear up because like i remember me and my mom well my mom like signed up to do the job and it was like really hard times back in the day and it was i remember it was like one morning really early it was raining and we had to go knock on people's doors and it was just not for us especially not for my mom i helped her out on the first day but we just could easily tell like it was just not for her it's not easy like going on knocking on people's door and trying to sell stuff like it's it's really hard so like i give it to those who do that because even when i get people knock on my door for advertisement like i don't like opening the door yeah we went from that and we i remember we told her manager that yeah she can't do it and they were so disappointed and like ugh, i just remember seeing the, the disgust in that woman's face but anyways we got over it and then years later i'm working with them on a campaign like what the hell okay concealers blended out i actually didn't wear bronzer which is insane i tried, I tried their translucent powder and yeah it was really good it's really good guys and it didn't give me any like um it didn't give me any flashback i put like the photo here the flash photo and it definitely passed the test and it really brightens too and usually i don't wear like such pale white powders now then for blush oh my god guys you won't believe that i used an eyeshadow and it was just so nice this is the ciate i am a woman what's your superpower palette and i grabbed this shade right here now like there is a lot of fallout in this like kickback when you put it put your brush in there but like what i do i just like blended it in it does go a little bit patchy at first but just bear with me it's like with eyeshadow you just have to blend it right <laughs> but this shade goes so well on my skin tone i'm on my nose too then i use the blush in tempt me I just forgot my eyelashes are drying still. What the hell? Look at that glow. And then I've got to put some mascara. Put a lot of mascara on my lower lashes. Guys, I really want to book up a holiday. But if you, I'm so bad at booking a holiday. I remember when I booked the Turkey trip, I did it all by myself and it was my first time doing it. And like, I booked planes at like 2 a.m. I'm just so bad at it. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty setting spray. And then I'm also gonna go in some of my Refi Beauty highlighter. 
gonna touch up my brows. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, I'm really bad at booking holidays. So if you have like any tips on tricks or like any websites that you like to go to to find good deals and what's the best time to book a flight? Like, cause when we had had it at night, we couldn't even see out the window. It was jet black, couldn't see nothing. And it's not the greatest to take the plane so late, like at 1 a.m. and stuff. So let me know what's the best time. I also didn't know when I was traveling that you're supposed to, like the general rule is that you're supposed to check out the hotel before midday so like i had booked the return flight at like 10 so like from midday like until 10 we had to figure out what to do we had all our luggages it was just a nightmare obviously you live and you learn but like if you have anything to share with me let me know because i need some help okay brows are done first use the vf 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 uh, modern lip definer in the shade bark and i just line my lips And then I'm gonna go in with the VF uh, Modern Matte Lipstick in Coming In Hot. Look at that, it's like the perfect nude. I also got like so many layers in my hair guys, oh my god. Anyways, that's the end of this little makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it, but like can you guys see this blush? Like I just feel like it's so nice on my skin tone. This foundation is so good. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!